Hi everyone. I wanted to pick up where we left off with our modeling of albino koalas in the Richmond Zoo and show how we can algebraically solve for the variable in an exponential function by using logarithm. So here was our situation. We initially started with 12 albino koalas. They were increasing by 5% each year, which made our exponential function y equals 12 times 1.05 to the power of x, where x was our number of years since 2010. Our question was how long until we have 40 albino koalas, so we let our y value be 40, and we're going to solve this algebraically using logarithms. So the main property of logarithms that we need to refresh on here is that if we have log base b of m to the power of r, property of logarithms allows us to bring that exponent of r down front and turn it into a product, r times log base b of m. Remember that our first step to solve an exponential equation is to isolate the exponential part. That is the 1.05 to the power of x. So the first thing we need to do here is to divide both sides by 12. On the left, this will leave us with about 3.33. On the right, 1.05 to the power of x. At this point, in order to use the property that we discussed, we do have to introduce logs. So we're going to go ahead and take the log of both sides. Again, this is now going to allow us to use that property, which says if we have an exponent within a logarithm, we're allowed to bring it down front. The log of 1.05 is just a number. That's something we can put into our calculator. So if we're looking to solve for x, we can go ahead and divide both sides by that number, the log of 1.05. We can now put this into our calculator, and we should get a value of around 24.7. And remember, this is the number of years since 2010, so if we add that to 2010, somewhere during the year of 2034, would be a good answer for this problem. If you need some extra practice on solving logarithmic equations, we're going to take a look at this one as well. So similar to solving our exponential equations, we want to isolate the log in this equation. So our first step is going to be to divide by 3. It's going to leave us with log base 2 of x minus 4 on the left and 3 on the right. At this point we are going to use the property of logarithms that says log base b of y equals x means that b to the power of x equals y. So let's apply that to the equation that we have here. We now have an equation that reads 2 to the power of 3 equals x minus 4. We know that 2 to the third is 8. So adding 4 to both sides is going to give us a final answer for x of x equals 12. I hope this helps.